Well, tonight we are continuing our coverage on that controversial building of Atlanta's Public Safety Training Center. And tonight we know construction is set to pick up pace later this summer. It comes after a city council vote approving funding for the project and that vote disappointing hundreds who waited for hours to try and convince council to vote against that money. Joe Ripley joining us now. He's been following all of the developments. Joe, what's the latest with this ongoing battle? Yeah, the vote came around 530 this morning, almost 12 hours ago at City Hall. And as one of the final hurdles to clear, it means plans are now in place to start construction this summer and finish up by the end of next year. We're not done. After 16 hours of talking and waiting. This is not a losing battle. We will never give up, ever. They might have won the battle, but this war will never be over. After 16 hours of listening. The vote is 11 yeas, 4 nays. An 11-4 City Council vote to fund the controversial City of Atlanta Public Safety Training Center. And yet, a pledge to keep fighting its construction. Hell no. No, not at all. It's... It can't happen. It won't happen. The vote approves $31 million as part of the city's budget surplus to fund the center's construction set to pick up later this summer. The vote also allows for a leaseback agreement that will result in the city making an additional $36 million payment over 30 years to rent training facilities on site in southeast DeKalb County. This is not being put into programs that help us. It's being put into everything else. This is not solving any of our issues. It's just creating more terror. In a statement, Atlanta Mayor Andre Dickens called council's vote a major milestone that will better prepare police, firefighters, and first responders. Dickens says the new facility will also allow Atlanta to lead the country in progressive anti-bias training, de-escalation techniques, and community-based solutions. But those opposed, those who waited hours to speak out. Violence is the language of the unheard and the disregarded say their fight to stop the construction of the Public Safety Training Center is far from over. They might think that we are done. No, they just reinvigorated our spirits because we're going to come back even stronger because we have the power of the people and that's what matters. Protesters say tonight they will hold a week of action later this month in about two weeks. Their goal to stop the construction of the Public Safety Training Center and so far their efforts have been unsuccessful.